Welcome back, Achievers, to your Easy Achievers Game Podcast for the week of November 4th. Yes, we're already at the end of the year. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting digitally with me today, as always, Alex. Man, it's already November. It's already November 4th, to be exact. Now, Crazy, we have isn't it? Thanksgiving in about three weeks, if you celebrate that. Or if you're Canadian, you have Canadian Thanksgiving, which is Thanksgiving, but the exact same thing. Um, but you call it Canadian Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Anyways. Um, yeah, it's already November. It, it's <sighs> Your parents always tell you it gets quicker the older you get. You never really oh, believe them. Sure. Until it it's happens. starting to hit you know? me. starting to hit me. Starting to hit me where oh, I'm like, sure. whoa, wait, it's November? Oh my god. Like, I know there's an achiever out there, probably 15, 18, they're like, ugh, old men talking. But bro, for real, it's like really fast. <laughs> it's really fast. <laughs> I bought a house, like, at the beginning of the year. Now, like, I've lived, I've, I've, what? Like, I feel like I've lived here forever and also never. Mm-hmm. No, I get it. Alex, how are you? How was your Halloween? Good. Good. Uh, we dressed up the baby. We uh we were Normal. Monsters Inc. It was fun. Oh, it was fun. That's cute. It was yeah. like a couple's costume. Yeah. Okay. Like a family costume. Yeah. yeah it's pretty adorable. Me, yeah. me and the wife went kind of casual. She was Merida. Casual though. Nothing crazy. And I was Superboy. Okay. Again, casual. They didn't go crazy. Mm. Didn't have many kids. But I thought she was a pirate. I mean, I could see that. Again, it was casual, so I'm not, I don't, I mean, it was very gotcha. p- pirate, pirate it was, it was, looking. It was, it was like, it was like, whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can, you can make, whatever, it's like Superman. The S stands for what you want it to be. Mm, got it. That's not how Superman works. Anyways, I didn't have a lot of kids, which is kind of a plus, because that just means I get a bunch of candy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I paid for it anyways, so it's just rightfully mine, by default. Um, I will say, <laughs> we were the cool house that Gave out full candy bars. That was very nice. Um, especially the small children's reaction. Some of them, Alex, <laughs> I'm very curious what you would do, what you would do when you were a child. And answer me. Try, try to be as truthful as you could think Alex as a child would have done. So oh some of the reactions were very nice, right? They're like, oh, my God, mm-hmm. I got a full candy bar, you know, Skittles or whatever. Some yeah, of them, sure. because I gave them one, were very much oh, like, no. is that it? <laughs> like you know like the kid like it was just one but i was like it's maybe you didn't see though it's like oh look in your bag it's like a whole one but some of them were for real like no is, to be f- is that it? it's but I, but some of the parents were like come on like i don't think you like kind of being like helpful like you know he gave you one it's a full size you no one else give you that you know yeah i don't i think that <laughs> hmm how do I say this without getting in trouble? I will say, oh, whoa. <laughs> I will say if they were I wanted particularly. To use the, I wanted to use the word entitled, but I don't know if I want no, to use I that. Don't, yeah, no, I mean, some, I mean, some kids are spoiled, but also, again, like, yeah. from their point of view, first off, it's dark. And they just saw me put something in their bag. Maybe they didn't see it was mm-hmm. a whole candy bar. Drugs, you know. And also, I, I, Achievers, not like, in a, not like in a rich neighborhood. So, like, there was one a bunch of rich kids walking up and being like, what? Only one? A lot of these kids only had, like, the little garbage, bubble gum, you know, the cheap no, stuff. No, I get it. Yeah. So, okay. So, I did feel pretty good when you do drop the whole candy bar because it's, like, the whole thing versus, like, mm-hmm. the little stuff they had. But, yeah, yeah, they, I, it was kind of mixed signals. Some were, like, awesome. Some, were, some kind of looked at the bag like, bro, what's this? But, again, I don't think they really realized they just got, like... A whole Hershey bar, you know, or yeah, Twix. I mean, gave out some Twix. Gave us some butter. I, mean, I, def- My I definitely, of the I definitely took some of that. So yeah, you did. You took literally every Crunch bar I had in the house. You found I Crunch took- bars I didn't even know I had. I took three. He took. Mm, I think you took seven. I think that's the number you told me. I no, I wanted to take seven. <laughs> I settled with three. Yeah, I wanted. It's like, it's like, doesn't it come eight in a box? That's why I said seven. <laughs> I don't think I had one. <laughs> I don't even <laughs> think I got to eat one. I, I'm pretty sure. Um, how, Achievers, how was your Halloween? I actually want to know. Leave below. I know a lot of you went to parties and had fun. Me and the wife just mm-hmm. kind of stayed in, watched movies. We danced outside with Halloween music. It was very fun. Yeah. Alex, uh, I think we do a video game podcast, so we should probably get into that. Let's start sure. with Numero Uno. 
which is how you should support the show. There's a bunch of different ways you could do that. You can do it freely and without costing you any money by doing several things. You can like this video that you're currently watching on YouTube, comment or subscribe to the feed to help the algorithm. You can leave a comment that does a bunch to the algorithm. You can also, for the extra credit, if you're on a podcast service, leave a five-star review. That helps us tremendously with the algorithm. That basically shows you that you're enjoying the show, you want to see more of it, you want to recommend it to everyone else. So, do what you do best. Leave some comments, some likes, some subscriptions, all that. Now, mm -hmm. we do have a paid way you can support us. You can go over to patreon.com slash huge. There's plenty of tiers you can look at to see what entices you the most. Or you could just give us a buck, a couple pennies a day. Helps us tremendously here. And also, you can put your input into the show. You can leave a question, a comment, a concern. You can talk about Alex's beanie hat thing he's got going on recently, which I think we've all really enjoyed. Um, clearly, it's can, a hat. Okay, you said clearly? Put it back on. All right, Achievers, look at YouTube right now. Podcast, I'm sorry. You're saying that's clearly a hat? No, I don't think it's clearly a hat. Okay, there we go. Now, clearly a hat. You see the bill. You, it was not clear before. It could have been. It could have gone either way. We don't know. See, I'm, I'm not a front bill type of person. I I'm don't not like either. the way it looks. I'm not either. And also, I have too big of a head. See, you have a good hat head. Okay. My head's too so big. Doesn't it bad? doesn't look right. No, no, no. You, well, do I prefer it backwards? Yes, because you look cooler. You look like one of those cool dads that, like, mm -hmm. that's going to sit you down after you messed up on something and is going to go, mm -hmm. look, you messed up, but we're going to work it out together. You know, kind of like yeah. the Captain America from the Spider Man movie. Mm -hmm. When you, you go to detention, he's like, I am. So you got detention. <laughs> you know, like, see, that I would see, I wear a hat because I'm like, I'm self conscious about my hair because I don't have a good hairline, you know, so that's why I just shaved it. So I was just like, eh, but you pull I'll it do off this. well, though. Okay. Not many people could pull off like the receding hairline, which all men yeah. are going to go through in their life. Yeah, usually I'm I, actually I going like, through it now, coolest... Cheers. If you look, look at that terrible I was like, hairline. What is the coolest haircut that I can do with my receding hairline? And I look at it, I'm like, all right, I'll do a Viking look. It looks good. It looks good. Yeah. I, I always appreciate it. Now, when my hair goes, it's all going because you can already tell it's starting to get weak. I mean, you got a, I mean, you got a bigger line than, man, than mine. So yeah, but it's it's going. Mine I can already see it's it. like into the back. Mine's it's mine's like, I can already feel it starting like, here. Like like if you like achievers, pull up a picture achievers. of this character. Okay. Vegeta. Vegeta, yeah. You know that you yep. know that V that yep. he has right here? Yeah, That's yeah. what my hair is looks like. Vegeta is one of the most unsettling people to imagine as a real person. Because like like how tall is his head in comparison to the hair and then it's going all the way up making kind of this m shape so like uh -huh. how big is his forehead because this man's probably got a ginormous forehead if he's really sporting that hair that means yeah. his hairline starts like if his hairline's like here that means it's like <laughs> you, she was, you should look up real life vegeta the pictures are unsettling yeah it's pretty scary but like yeah for real though if your hairline like starts here that means like this much head is exposed. <laughs> like mm -hmm. this man's really struggling in the hairline department. Yes, um, I get it. I get it. We completely got sidetracked. Uh, yep. Achievers, we ask one singular question to Alex every single week. Mm -hmm. This week is no different, Alex. What have you been playing? Mm. Well, I have beaten Tales of Arise. Mm. So I beat the story. I went back to get some. Yep. I am. I am trying to thousand it. I am a couple achievements away. I'm almost there. How many do you know? Seven. Seven achievements away because okay. uh, there's three secrets, which I already know what they are. This just you know getting the friendship up, <laughs> and this is like four left, which is like getting all the fish for I achievers who are doing fish. this. Yep. Um, what was the other? Oh, beat that ultimate thing in the training grounds. Oh my god! For I can. I almost had it. This much, it was like red. It was, it was on so you red. Can do I almost it. had it. That means though you can I, do yeah. it though. That that you know yeah. you can do it. So just yep. get back in there, power uh, up those hands, get back in there. Achievers, a uh, very quick note for content. Um, Alex has been beating it. I'm the one slogging behind. I do apologize for that. I will have this game beaten mm -hmm. within the next few days for sure. We will be getting on that spoiler cast ASAP. Now, did you beat Guardians? <laughs> did I beat Guardians? I sure mm. did. I sure okay, did. See, and I, see I'm, just, and I, I'm only halfway through the game. Like, so we're, we're, back. we're almost doing switch switch swap now. Forza mm -hmm. is going to mess a lot of this up, but we're almost Literally switch swapping. Literally in three hours. <laughs> That's true. We're playing Tails, 
right? I went to I went to Gardens. You stayed with Tails. Oh, he's leaving. Uh, he he went to Tails. Is what I was gonna tell him. Now we're kind of switching. He's gonna go to Guardians. I'm gonna go uh, finish Tails, which is what I'm doing currently. Once I'm done with Tails, then it's really focus on Far Cry. Focus focus on Forza, which I'm hearing fantastic things about Forza, which yes. makes me incredibly excited. Looks 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 amazing. Um, IGN, although I am achievers, no blah blah blah. I'm not a fan of numbers, whatever. D- the IGN did give it a ten, and there was a glowing review I read. Glowing review. Now I don't usually read reviews, but when I saw the ten, I did have to go read it because I was like, I "You're really like, okay." See. They're like, "Why?" I why really want. No, I didn't want to see the reason. Like, I want. I really want to see the reason for this. And it was yeah, very. Nobody, they used a lot tens of tens. You have to look. There's a lot of words that very much. I don't want to. I don't know. You can't really spoil your racing game, but no, words were used game. that I was very surprised at. Things like okay. MMO. Very interesting. I want to play the yes. Ex, my ex, my thoughts exactly. Alex was that face. MMO was used, so I'm like, hmm, interesting. So I want to play not this the now. Same as the last forces. I don't. I I want to play it now. Like I, I need to know. Like if the word MMO was used and it wasn't used, um, I doubt the person's intent was really like War or Warcraft. It was really kind of cementing like. There's a bigger game here. Mm-hmm. But again, I, I need to play this game. Because I, I don't like reading reviews because I feel like it... I feel like uh, yeah, you, I've heard I feel that like the online in this one reviews, is a lot better. I don't care about the online. I want to play the game. I assume that's what the MMO is. Multiplayer. All, um, yeah, you know, no, but I'm yeah. saying like... We're in the weeds. It's fine. Uh, we're yeah. going to play it today. If not, I'll play it tomorrow. Alex definitely is playing mm-hmm. it today. He's hyped. Yeah. And we'll have our impressions. If we find it particularly interesting, we might make a video. If not, it will be in next week's episode. Mm. Um, but yes, I did finish Guardians. We'll be doing a spoiler cast when Alex gets around to finishing that. Mm-hmm. Um, same thing with Tales. I very much enjoyed Guardians. I cannot wait for the spoiler cast to talk about that game. I can't, mm-hmm. I can't wait. It was surprising in so many ways. And, um, and I can't wait to talk about it with you, Alex. Yeah, uh, I'm going to see if I can try it this weekend. Yeah, aside from that, that's that's really it. Uh, we're kind of in this lull period where I'm not really excited for anything until Halo. Now, not to say I'm not going to be playing anything, but this Call of Duty has me... Mellow yellow is the word I'm going to use. <laughs> the, the soft, popular soft drink. I'm very mm-hmm. mellow on this Call of Duty. I'm going to be playing the campaign. The online has me not enticed at all. So mm-hmm. I think I'm just going to be playing the campaign. Battlefield, I... I'm be real with all the achievers. We talked about it last week. That game could just not come out, and I wouldn't care. So I, I have yep. zero interest now, which is a shame. I was so excited for this battlefield, and just I just don't care anymore. I wish I wish I did, mm-hmm. but I don't. Also, play it to give you guys our thoughts. But wow, that is a not great game. Looking, mm-hmm. anyways, we'll see when it comes out. We'll see when it comes out. You do get the tr- free trial with. EA access, lest we forget. Maybe maybe they'll do a pull around like Halo and then made Halo better, but to be fair, Halo did have a year difference. Phil Philly came in and said, you get a year. Fix it. And he, they did. Yep. They did. Did you see they showed off a... This is Greg? complete... Not or not Greg. Uh, Craig, is Craig, is Craig, Craig, Craig. 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 Jesus, I said Craig. Craig. They showed mm-hmm. off Craig. If you don't know, Achievers, popular memes started when they showed off Halo for the first time and, the, <laughs> and they <laughs> like... When he meleeed a brute, and they like took the screenshot of Craig right before like getting hit, it was very funny. Now they actually made him a character, I guess. Mm-hmm. Or if that was, has, I can tell has, if that like, was a cool just, looking beard. And he looks actually really cool. Thing. You already mm-hmm. knew they were gonna do that once they made oh, yeah. the internet made him think he's like he's gonna be in the game either in an Easter egg or they're actually gonna just make a character Craig now. Oh, for sure, just for the lols. I mean, they do that all the time. I remember in Halo Three when you're trying to find that uh, there's like the Easter egg of the one of the one of the developers like floating like this like in his boxers like in a really dark uh, like area like it was, it was out of context weird. that sounds terrifying <laughs> it is when you, uh, out of context that is unsettling yeah um alex speaking of halo we did uh see a halo infinite early access digital bundle on the microsoft hmm. store leak um this could mean a lot this could mean nothing we don't know um, it seems to contain a multiplayer and DLC. We don't know what's in it. It was blank. It doesn't look like it was meant to go live at all. I'm very curious what this ends up 
being. I do believe it's real. Stuff like this, just it doesn't just... Yeah. It, it exists for a reason. Whether it ever comes out is the question, but I do think at some point we're going to see this. Um, so there may be a Forza situation where you pay extra and play it early. Maybe. We'll see. Speaking of rumors, this is, um, this is a wild one. So... Is this room around up? That's what, yes, this is room around up. Uh, thank you, Alex. I apologize for not starting this. We transitioned so nicely into Halo. But speaking of room around up, if we all go back to 2013, go, go back with me. 2013, oh, Xbox One. Why is it called Xbox One? We all said that. Why is it so big? We said a lot of things. Why is it so like big? Why is it so big and the power bucks is outside of it? You know, lots of weird decisions. One thing I don't think was a weird decision, though. Crytek made a game called Rise, Son of Rome. Maybe Such a fun seeing, game. We may be seeing a sequel. There are a couple of rumors following around now. Nothing I'm going to put my hat on right now. I don't particularly believe this. But apparently, Crytek is actually making Rise 2. Now, the only difference is... In the original deal, apparently Crytek actually was able to keep the IP for this. So it, it, when it comes out, if slash when it comes out, the sequel will be on multiple platforms. So it's no longer going to be an Xbox One sequel. Now, Alex, mm. first, tell me, do you believe this? Second, I want you to tell me, and I just kind of want to talk about the Xbox One after this <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and what we thought about in 2013. We were very young then too, uh, especially compared to now. But uh, first, do you believe the second? What do you think of Rise? We do. This is something we haven't talked about on the show. I don't believe ever. Uh, mm-hmm. Aside from my passing, um, I liked it. So, yeah. do you do you believe it? Do you see it coming? Um, yes, I believe it coming because most of the time, developers like when they get asked questions, "Oh, are you working on this?" They haven't mentioned anything. They'd be like, "Oh, you know, we don't know what's in the future hotels." They literally, they are the ones who are like, "Hey, yeah." They no like they came out and they're like yeah we're developing it I yeah. mean why 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 say that and not and not be real mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or like I mean even if like I mean it could it might not come out I mean I have, might get issues and stuff like that but I mean they are working on it I feel yeah. like yeah yeah I I would be shocked if we see this although I don't mm. think we'll see it anytime soon I, I don't I hmm what years 2021 i don't think i don't think we'll see it till maybe 2023 2023 24 okay okay so we see I it want, yeah i want to talk about this game very for for a quick second I want, we won't take too long on this achievers what a downtrodden game that did not deserve any of it People wrote this game off because it was cool to hate Xbox in 2013. Rightfully so. They did a lot of things to mess that up. Lest we forget the DMCA thing they tried to do with... um, um, I think I'm using the wrong term. I apologize. But they basically tried to make the online always online, which is its own bucket of worms if you're talking about the always online thing they tried to do if you want to talk about the tv integration they tried to get going which never really worked out if you want to talk about their all-in-one box that they wanted to say remember that alex remember that this is your all-in-one entertainment center you won't need anything else like all those buzzy garbage call of duty madden one thing good about that that we had was snap shout out to snap uh but Aside from all of those, aside from all that talk we can have, which one day we should really sit down and just talk about 2013 and what it was like to be an Xbox fan then. Because it was not fun. It was not fun at all. <laughs> but um, as not talking about that. Let's let's go over to re- just Rise, Son of Rome. What did you think? What are some things you remember from the game? Did you like it? I know I know you did like it, but just tell me some of your thoughts. Um, I actually, a couple months ago, I actually recently went back to it. And the game does hold itself pretty well, graphics wise. I think so too. For, it looks very pretty still. For yeah, for still being like for being a 2013 game, it still looks really well without it being enhanced or anything. I don't think it ever got enhanced. I think it did. Um, did it? I think it did. Okay. I think I think they. I don't think they ever came out and said it, mm. it like was a like tier enhanced thing. But I think there are some background things happening when you play the game that make it enhanced intentionally. Although I do not know what frames it's running. Gotcha. No. Yeah, I don't. I don't remember off the top of my head when I tried it. Um, 
I think it was 60. I don't remember though. Because I think it had that FPS boost thing. Like just, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I can't remember if that was the title. Let's see. Um, you go ahead though. But yeah, I just thinking about it going like going, or going back to it. Like I, I enjoyed like the combos that you could do. Like you know, oh, when you're doing the combo, it's it kind of gave me that God of War feel because it's like, oh, you know, when you're doing the thing, you got to hit a certain button. But, like with this one, it you know, it like the the enemy will light up the color of the button and. I kind of enjoyed that. It was kind of cool. Thank you for bringing you know, that up. You don't, you don't have like a button like literally in your face. Yeah. It's just the outline of the character. And I, yeah, I it like was that. an attempt to make it a little more immersive. And I actually liked it. Everyone yeah. was like, it's so ugly. And I'm like, it's, would you, you rather prefer have a big the button? Your Thank face? you. Thank you. Would you prefer the button? Would you prefer a glowing light? What is it? What do we want? Like, what do we, mm-hmm. what do we want? Would you rather it be any button and it's less challenge? I don't know. Besides the point. But, I agree. Not only was it a huge inspiration from God of War, uh, I think is I think God of War is all over this game. It was clear that they oh, were yeah. try to make a God of War like action game, and mm-hmm. they kind of they kind of did that sort of not really. Mm, they, the they, combos they definitely, were awesome, dude. They definitely wanted to make it more cinematic. This is a very much a yeah. cinematic oh, yeah. title. I mean, they really did kind of nail that. Like, you, we're gonna drop you in a Rome movie, and you're gonna play it, mm-hmm. and that's what it felt yeah. like. Especially, I still remember that one scene where there's like this big open field, that's like all marsh, or and you're everybody. There's like big uh, vehicles, and everybody's just running forward, and you're just running. Oh, you're like making me want to play it again. I w- I would love to actually maybe try this again, maybe when it's a more quieter period to see if I'm remembering mm-hmm. it. Maybe with rose color glasses, or if it was really that good. But I do remember the opening very well, and that beach, that beach mm-hmm. scene, beach, very much gets yeah. you pumped up for what you're about to do. When everyone's like, all the fires going by, you're all mm-hmm. chanting. You're like about to jump off. You jump off. You start fighting people, and they nailed the. Um, I'm gonna call it a cool factor. They really did right. make you feel f- cool. When you made yeah. when you hit the right combo button and you did this cool like execution, I don't remember what they were called, but I think there were like flawless executions that you could do, and like you got more points or so. I, I, it wasn't points, but th- there was something else that you could do that like if you did it correctly, it made you more stronger or something. I don't know, but that was always satisfying. There, there's a bunch of things mm-hmm. from that game that I do remember very fondly, and dare I say miss that we never got a chance to see a second one because i do think it's very good although the ending is wild it takes a very right turn out of nowhere <laughs> out of nowhere but again very cool yeah. very cool i'd love to see a second one. and and uh i will say also um they were very much like a make a 300 game too now you could tell like we're gonna try to put this god of war action combo system and we're gonna make like a 300 like game and alex hmm Rise to Son of Sparta? I mean, come on, that'd be so dope. You play a 300 character and you're just mm. yoinking Persians? I mean, come on, that'd be so cool. Or you could do any other invasion. Do you, do you, do you think they would do... So, okay, so... Um, Norse mythology has been really popular. Do you, think they would go, do you think they would ever go that route? Like Son of Odin or something like that? If they have, they give you know if they if they use the, the son of thing, but like if benefit they think they... of making a sequel to a, I'm I mean an, really an unknown game. No, I mean this game sold no, almost nothing. Um, it sold particularly well, but compared to a lot of other launch titles, it oh for sure. Great. But the benefit of making a sequel to something like this is you could literally do whatever you want. You're not going to be tied to yeah. anything because they don't really expect you to play the first one, really. And if you did. They know you're gonna buy this anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I do think, um, I, I mean, the but if if this is real, I mean, the options are endless. You, the ha, really the main thing when I think of Rise, I think of a cool combat system with a sword mm-hmm. or a spear or a, I, I mean a melee weapon, and that's it. So I mean, you could be you could be a I don't know an Egyptian fighting fighting in a war there. We haven't had Egyptian lore. No, no, we had. The one Assassin's Creed game, and that's really it. Yeah, <sighs> we went over the Halo Infinite early access bundle that we saw. Now, uh, achievers, we did talk about this before, so I did want to bring up the cancellation of this title. Um, if you remember way back when we did talk about Take Two and Hangar Thirteen, which are the game behind the Mafia uh, Three, I had a code name Volt, which was a 
essentially Saints Row meets Cthulhu, which is like weird, but me immediately makes you interested. Now this game, unfortunately, whatever it is or was at some point is now no more. Uh, sources are telling multiple people, but essentially this comes straight from Bloomberg that it was actually canceled. There was an earnings that suggested that this project was around $53 million in cost, and it is just now no, it just doesn't exist anymore. It got canceled. It's no more. So whatever this game was, we will most likely never see it again. I can't say I'm particularly shattered by it, although the the way they explained it, it did seem very common. I mean, Saints Row meets Cthulhu that bursts your minds with millions of ideas. Oh, uh, for sure. In so many ways. But I did want to bring this up because we did cover it when it was leaked. This is a quick one. This is a rapid fire. Uh, the Harry Potter mobile game Wizards Unite will be shutting down January 31st, 2022. Just as a quick rapid fire one. That's the quickest one for you today. Then we're going to get into it. I got a news. Alex. Mm. Skydance, new media. It's making a Marvel game. Now, they're making a collaboration with none other than Marvel. Now, Skydance may seem familiar. No, Alex, it's not Skybound. This is the studio helmed by none other than Amy Henning, former game director and head writer for the Uncharted series. Although leaving midway through Uncharted 4, she is stamped throughout 1, 2, and 3. A short recap of Amy, if we remember correctly. There was that project, of course, with EA called Project Ragtag, apparently a Star Wars meets Uncharted game that was being developed with her, with her team at Visceral that was shut down unceremoniously October 17th, 2017. Apparently that project was then moved to some another internal studios, in my opinion, most likely turning into later Fallen Order. Back to her story, though. Their team is apparently making a, quote, narrative-driven blockbuster action-adventure game Featuring a completely original story and take on the Marvel Universe, end quote. So, we are seeing the head, former head writer, and former head game developer, uh, sorry, game director, making a Marvel game. The hmm. accusations are wild. What do you think of this? Now, when you think Uncharted, immediately you go, okay, quick, jumping, fast-witted Spider-Man? You're like, no, not, probably not another Spider-Man game, right? So... And I would, what? I would have, I would have said Wolverine, but we already got that. Already got Wolverine, yeah. That, yeah. that would, that I could see that with un, kind of like an Uncharted feel with like a Wolverine game. But we got you Insomniac you, you, on that. They're not going to do another one. You think you're going to get your boy Gambit? <sighs> that'd be sick. No, but that'd be sick. No, that'd be sick. I, oh. It would be cool to get something unexpected, like Inhumans or X Men. Yeah, or, for sure. I mean. Hmm. West Coast Avengers, you can get weird very quickly. Um, you can the Illuminati. I mean, you can get like I said, you can get weird. Um, Doctor Strange, that'd be cool. But like, because you kind of have like the old ancient feel from yeah, Uncharted. Yeah, sure. You can kind of yeah. get the writing style, but then you have to completely make it a completely different game with how you fight. Oh, for sure. But I can't think of uh, what what is there. What do you give me? What you think it might be, and what you want it to be? Hmm. Well, I would have said I wanted it to be Wolverine, but like I said, we got that already. Yeah, got so it. Yeah. I don't got to worry about it. Yeah. Um. By hmm. by arguably a better studio. Not arguably. I would think actually it is a better studio. Hmm. Which is wild to say. That's Amy Henning we're talking about. She is a genius. It's bad because I want to say I want I want another like like a hmm. is it bad? I want to kind of say like an ult, another Ultimate Alliance type game. We don't have an Ultimate Alliance, man. I want an Ultimate Alliance game. Like we have, of course, Ultimate Alliance three, but that's not quite what I want. I want Marvel yeah. Ultimate Alliance one again. Just make that a little deeper. Fucking make me write it. I don't care. I can write it. And just give it what it needs. Like, 3 was I, missing... It was missing it. It was trying to be the movies. Like, we don't need... I want an movies. Ultimate Alliance game, but kind of to where, like, the... the, the, the like, 
mixed kind of like with like how Guardians is like like the way the the action is instead of being fully top down, you know, bring it down a little bit, bring it to behind maybe third person, and then do it that way just to be a, a so, different. So my question, my not sorry, not my question, my my feeling was a very personal X Men game. That's what See, I, want. I want. A, I, I want a third person, deep, like they said, narrative driven. Mm. X Men story, and I mean like not like the X Men movie where there's seventy X Men. Like I'm saying, do you like, want an origin like of someone, like 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 ex- Professor X? I or want something? the origin of X Men. I, I like yeah. X. I want that. I want a. We're starting from zero, and at the end of this game, we're gonna be like the X Men. But mm-hmm. I don't want. I know this is all contradictory, but I don't want First Class the game. Like no, I get it. I, I want get a, it. They said. Uh, a n- original story, like just make up mm-hmm. new stuff. You can rewrite the X Men in a million different ways. So, oh yeah, how many comics are that do that? I'm I mean, waiting for whatever Marvel does with Magneto, because whenever they bring Magneto into this world, mm-hmm. whatever they're doing with him, they can't so make cool. him a Holocaust survivor anymore unless he is going to be ancient. So yeah. he has to be something else. What is it going to be? I have so many fun ideas. Would you like to? Would you like them to incorporate something where, because you know, there's all this whole thing where you know Quicksilver's his kid, and then there was uh, what is it? Scarlet Witch is also related yeah. to him. They're tw- then well, they're twins, they're bl- and that's yeah. their dad. The, and then there's Polaris. Yes. So I was thinking, I was like, do you think? Would you want a game to where like there's there's something hint, like they're all connected in some way or whatever? Like like it's not they're not focused on the big baddies or the big people, but they're focused on more like oh you know the. Not gonna want to say now. I'm gonna say this: the kids, but you know, it's kind of like the second people because yeah, they're yeah, like, yeah. oh, you know, um, like all the like, like instead of Wolverine, we'll get X twenty X twenty two. Yeah, the B. We'll call X-22. them B tiers. That's not what we think of them as characters, but no, we'll no, call yeah. them the B tier. The B tier, yeah. I honestly, yes, I would love that. I would love a. Yeah. I think the um, Tom Taylor run of. I have a pet lizard now. I guess. Oh, is he inside your window? Yeah, there's a lizard just chilling next to me. This is hilarious. Uh, Achievers, okay. I haven't brought this on the show. We have so many. Not in the house, though, luckily. This is actually the first time I've ever seen one in the house. That tells me why my cat wanted to be here earlier. Everything makes sense now. We have so many lizards on our side door. I'm assuming hmm. because it's so much cooler. So they put, I assume they're putting their bodies to like the cold window. But yeah, we have like a... I have a pet lizard now. He's just chilling. So we'll deal with him later. Anyways. Yes, I would love a... I mean, how many times have I... This is my thing with, with comic books. How many times have I read Cyclops the Leader exactly. with Jean yeah. Grey? Like, oh my God. As much as I, I love that's the I original loved... team, I was like, I always see so many of those. I was like, give me people who I don't know. Like, I don't know much about Jubilee. I don't know much about uh, X-23, X-23, Polaris. Tom Taylor's X-23 run makes me pref- pref- almost prefer her over Wolverine. That's how good it was. Mm. So if we get that level of writing in a all-new X-Men, we'll just call them all-new X-Men, an all-new mm-hmm. X-Men run where it is, like X-23, it is. Um, who else can we throw in there? Uh, Kitty Pride. It is these other characters that mm-hmm. you don't really see much, but now they get to shine because it's kind of their game. Who knows, but I would love... Oh, my God. I'm going to decide now. I would love that. Yeah. yeah. Definitely love it. This is uh, corporate mumbo jumbo. The story. Stick with me here. Oh God. We're seeing some cooperation yet again with a company looking to partner with Microsoft with their Azure tech. Last time it was Sony. Well, this time it is Sega, partnering Sega. with Microsoft to utilize their tech and a lot of other corporate stuff. Here's what they want to say about the partnership: Sega Corporation. And Microsoft Corporation have agreed, in principle, a strategic alliance that explores ways for Sega to produce large-scale global games in a next-generation development environment built on Microsoft's Azure Cloud platform. The alliance would form a key part of Sega's mid-to-long-term strategy, allowing the business to move forward with, quote, super game, end quote. A new initiative for developing new and innovative titles, where their key focuses are, quote, global online community and ip utilization end quote what isn't that the most corporate garbage thing you've ever read in your entire life alex 
basically, like, we want to we want to make a lot of MMOs based off the cloud, but we don't want to say that. Basically, Sega came out and said, "We want to make a lot of money. We're gonna go with the people with a lot of money. Use the tech that they've already made, and we're gonna make games to make us more money. And we're gonna make them super games." <laughs> it sounds like a child wrote that. Who, like, Alex? I want you to paint this picture in your head for me. God. The average person writing up these statements, what, 40, 50, right? So how many 40 to 50-year-olds signed off the term super game to use in this? How many people? Just really think about that. How many people looked at that and said, we're going to call it super games? You can already see the guy like, kind of like with his PowerPoint deck like, and the new innovations here. Bam, super game. Regardless of the silly name. <laughs> this is very interesting. I This isn't the first time like I said we've seen this kind of partnership. We saw this with Sony partnering with Microsoft to use Azure. We're also seeing this now with Sega. I'm curious what we'll see from this. I I try I I mean really it's endless. Like they can I, I do feel like whatever they want. I feel like they're really trying to push this cloud stuff cuz then they had that yeah, it's the, the future. They had that one that one team that they're making that big MMO that we, uh, that we covered last oh, week. Oh, yeah, we covered last week. Yeah, they have... Um, I wish I had good memory. They have Br- Brass Lion Entertainment making an MMO mm-hmm. that is cloud-based, which sounds fun, right? Sounds cool to me. Yeah, oh, uh, Mainframe. That's the, the people, Mainframe. Oh, it's Mainframe. No, yeah, why did I say Brass Lion? That was something yeah, bra- else. Yeah, Mainframe. Thank you for correcting me. I had, to, I had to think about it. I was like, I don't feel like it was that. <laughs> no, no, you're right. Thank you. But um, what you were saying, please. No, yeah, like I just feel like yeah, ever, ever since then, you know, I feel like they're just trying to push more cloud MMOs. Like, so you're like, they're like, oh, you don't want, you know, just take it on the go with you. I just hope they can pull this off easily. Because I just feel like with the, all the cloud stuff we've had lately, it's not going so well. Yeah, I mean, this is something definitely in its infancy. and. It's not something that I am particularly hopeful about now, although mm. five years, eight years, ten years, this is tech that's going to continue evolving, and I'm very curious to see then what are we going to be seeing. I'm trying to think yep. of what a Sega franchise I could see melding very well with the cloud. And <laughs> An MMO I'm not, Sonic I'm not, game. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's like the, like... And, all, and, and if, lest we forget, there are all those rumors that said... Um, Microsoft it's is gonna, looking at trying to purchase them. It's gonna be a, the it's gonna be the new Sonic Adventure game. Oh Jesus! Like, what are they gonna do? <laughs> Altered Beast, which was a terrible game. Although, <laughs> although I did play it, it's a terrible game. Um, <laughs> Golden Axe was awesome, but I, I mean, I can't think of a cloud. Ba- now, their one is the in Fantasy Star. That's a that's actually a not a bad game to try and make. As a super cloud-based MMORPG game, right? Fantasy yeah, Star. Because I mean, the latest one was Fantasy Star Two Universe or whatever. Yeah, so that would that would kind of make sense. I'm just looking at a couple games right now. I mean, as a super game, that's really all I can really point to. Valkyr Chronicles. You can make an MMO kind of Warhammer. They they helped yeah. with that. Um, but they don't own the IP. Yeah, I don't know. There's a couple things I just wanted to bring up. But yeah, they are looking to partner. We will see what comes of that. Although I do not think anything particularly interesting will come. We shall see, though. Lest lest Mm. we forget, Sega did buy Atlas as well, which are the beautiful people behind Persona. Sega, don't fuck that up, please. Please don't. The heats, the hits, the hits, the hits. The hits just keep on coming to Activision Blizzard. They currently have a pending lawsuit on them around past sexual harassment cases and work environment. Having several people step down from higher positions. They also had to cancel their BlizzCon, their giant convention that celebrates their franchises and announces new things like their incredibly popular mobile game. Not only that, they are now announcing to today, and not really today, this was probably two days ago, that they are delaying their very popular dungeon crawler, Diablo 4, and... Their online third-person shooter, Overwatch 2, yet again. (laughs) This is now moving from an expected 2022 to release 
to most likely somewhere in the 2023 area. Alex, when are we ever seeing this game? Before you answer that, we do have another story. Another top executive is stepping down, this in the form of Jen O'Neill, who's formerly the head of Vicarious Visions, had recently stepped into the role of a co-lead of Blizzard Entertainment, who replaced the veteran J. Allen Bragg. We covered that a couple weeks ago. Who served over 15 years with the company. O'Neill announced today that she will be stepping down and leaving Mike Yabara as head of Blizzard Entertainment. If we remember, Mike Yabara, he used to actually be, I believe, head of Xbox Studios. No longer anymore, though. Of course. Alex. Mm. This game has now, these games have now been delayed to the point of probably a combined total of three years now. (laughs) What is going on? Clearly, they announced this to do, to maybe boost. I mean, this is all speculation, but I mean, why announce these titles if you delayed them now almost like a combined total of three full years? I think they want, I have. I have a feel like they want to hold off on the release of these games until this whole Blizzard yeah, Activision yeah. debacle settles uh, settles yeah. because if they come out still during this debacle, nobody's going to buy these games. Mm, yeah, they're in the middle of a giant Lost PR it. storm. Just yeah, like so giant, once this gets they settled, they can't win. They have all these people leaving. They have a pending lawsuit that, frankly, is terrible things listed all over it. They mm-hmm. have constant executives stepping down, like all over the place. They're probably having to plug holes in so many areas. Mm-hmm. Yep, PR is and PR is like literally. we could try and release it, and maybe people will like no. it. I mean, no. I can. I already see people trying to make the excuse of like, oh, you oh, can yeah. buy it, support the developers, whatever. It's like okay, yeah. Literally, though, once it settles, they're probably going to be like, all right, as a comeback, yeah, here we yeah. go. Yeah, here's your release date. Yeah, I mean. We're coming Achievers. back strong. I, I and you know I don't know how known this is, but I mean there are literally companies that are basically disaster companies that help you go through stuff like this. Most likely, they paid millions of dollars, if not hundreds of millions, to pay off this firm to like be like, all right, what do we do? And they probably are like, all right, well, you lay low. You like you all, all your top games, push them, get them out of there. Wait till all this blows over. Your sales are going to be way higher. I wouldn't be shocked if that has something to do with all this. They have some PR firm that they hired, and they're like, yeah, you got you to gotta lay low and just mm-hmm. wait until all this blows over. They, in the, they're like, what do we do in the meantime? Remaster shit. Uh, Remaster go get, shit? Go my, <laughs> give, give them Modern Warfare 3. Give you know them Call of Duty? Then, yeah, just do it again. Keep doing that. <laughs> yeah, keep doing you know that, what you're doing uh, to that? Just keep doing it. Yep. Eat all your studios and make them all Call of Duty studios. That's what they did mm-hmm. basically last week. So Yep, and then once you're in the clear, sell, sell the other two. Start, start throwing them out there. Make people say, mm-hmm. do it for the developers. Yeah, right. Oh. Yeah, those games would tank. Speaking of bad news, we're still mm. kind of got some bad news. Oh. Not only is there a giant drama fest around the game called Marvel's Avengers by Chris Dynamics, developed by Square Enix. Not only did their boss, the head of Square, Yus- uh, Yusuke Matsuda, specifically say they were not the right fit for this game. Not only did he then go to say this is a disappointing game by multiple standards, both physically, both the way it launched, both the how uh, much money it made. So many uh, ways of just despairing it and trying to make it not his fault as possible. Then we see, I don't know if you saw any of this, Alex, the XP booster event drama happened. Did you see any of this? I saw one, the XP, you talking about the one that was quadrupled? So, I don't, uh, so no. So it doesn't okay. sound like you did, so I, I'll fill you in. No. So if you okay. remember, we covered a couple weeks ago. I don't know if it was a complete news story, but I did bring it up. Marvel's okay. Avengers reworked their XP system. They reworked oh, it to make you yeah. play longer, right? Yeah. Made, so you okay, had yeah. to do more things to get yep. the same amount of XP you did before. It was like almost three times or something. Mm-hmm. Like the amount of XP you got versus before, like you had to keep grinding three times longer, mm-hmm. I think. Something like that. It was something egregious mm-hmm. where like, why? Okay. But then, about 
what was it october when, when marvel's avengers hit game pass i don't remember the exact day but marvel avengers hit game pass that same day in the marketplace that they have in game they are selling xp boosters september 30th september 30th thank you alex so september 30th game pass gets marvel avengers it becomes like one of the most played titles on game pass i think it was like the fifth one or something like that okay they start selling xp boosters what are these xp boosters well they boost your xp how much about as much as what they took off the last time they updated the XP in the game. So they nerfed the how much XP you got and then sold you the booster to basically make it how it was before. And they just thought they could get away with that. Now, they did retract this a couple days ago. They took it off their store. They said, hey, we're really sorry. We noticed this didn't look great. It's like, yeah, no shit it didn't look good. You nerfed the xp and then you made people buy to make uh anyways they said that so now the game not only has been shit on by the your very boss in front of all his investors now have this xp drama and on top of that the only thing you've managed to do is make your xp grind worse because they didn't revert the changes to the xp they just took the boosters out so now you not only you can't pay to make your XP faster. You now you're just sitting on a worse XP grind in the game. That game, so much potential squandered. I thought about going back and playing it on the Xbox. I don't even want to. And I would love, I would love to see who made the decision to give this to Crystal. Was it Crystal? Was it Square? Was it some executive that went? Hey, you guys need to make a games of service because we want to make money. Mm-hmm. Did Crystal go to them and it's like, hey, we can make a lot of money here if we make this as a game of service? Let us. And they're like, okay, go ahead. Who cares? Was it more complicated than that? Who knows? I would love to know the story behind this game because clearly, at some point, they wanted this to be a single player game. It's just obvious mm-hmm. when you start the video game. That this way uh, you start and you're like this is a single player game and mm-hmm. then at, at some point they make it a games of service just fucking terrible uh, i'm done ranting alex do you want to say anything about marvel's avengers i've had enough of this game <laughs> i agree i'm kind of done talking about it too i i did say um uh, I wanted to play as Spider-Man and I think he comes out in like a month or something and I just couldn't care less. Which is suck. it sucks. It sucks, yeah, because I was excited for that. I, the only time I ever come back is when a new DLC comes out. But like, now I'm just like, mm. I, I got, forgot I got he Halo came and to the sh- game. I saw it on Twitter actually today that um, someone well, tweeted it's like, that. It's not like it's coming for Xbox, though. So. Yeah, it's only on PlayStation. Oh, God. Ah, that's enough. That's enough of Marvel's Avengers. Mm-hmm. Who loves talking about NFT and blockchains? What? Exactly. But we have to talk about it anyways. Well, we have some interesting concepts coming from Ubisoft. The CEO in an earnings call, of course, Yves Gilmolt, directly <laughs> said, in fact, that they are going to make NFT and blockchain games. Alex. Do you remember what mm. NFTs are? We've covered it one time on the show before. Have you, do you remember? Nope. No, neither do the achievers, so don't, don't worry. As you see, this is a direct quote from him. As you see, this industry is changing regularly with lots of new revo- revolutions happening. We consider... Sorry, uh, my thing just messed up. Go back down. There we go. We consider blockchain one of those revolutions. It will imply more play to earn that will enable more players to actually earn content, own content, and we think it's going to grow the industry quite a lot. So we have been working with lots of small companies going on the blockchain, and we're starting to have a good know-how on how we can impact the industry. We want to be one of the key players there. This is, of course, the CEO, Yves Skillmont, end quote. Now, I know these are all garbage what does any of this mean these are all very new terms 
So let's start with blockchains. These are all Wikipedia definitions I wanted to bring to the achievers and to you, Alex. To explain okay. what these are, I know very little as well, so you're not alone. I'm not coming from this as any sort of knowledgeable man. I'm just a guy trying to figure it out as well. So, blockchains are a system in which a record of transactions made in Bitcoin or another cryptocurrency is maintained across several computers that are linked in a peer-to-peer -peer network. Okay? Almost like a cash register, right? So the okay. blockchains is kind of what's recording the transition of the cryptos, right? Okay. Now, what are cryptocurrencies? I know most of the achievers and you, Alex, understand this, but just in case, this is a digital currency in which transactions are verified and records maintained by a decentralized system using cryptography rather than a centralized authority. So usually your money's backed by a country, right? We in the U.S. are backed by the U.S. dollar, the treasury, blah, blah, blah. Crypto is a decentralized thing, so it's not really based on anything. It's just exists. Mm -hmm. Now, what is an NFT? Now, Alex, I made this joke already, but I'm going to do it again. Okay. It stands for non-fungible tokens. Now, do you know when your tokens get fungible? Well, this token, it's not fungible, so it can't be fungible. Aren't you happy about that? NFT is a digital asset that represents internet collectibles like art, music, and games with an authentic certificate created by blockchain technology that underlies cryptocurrency. And what an NFT is, is kind of like a certificate of authentic of onth Jesus, fuck. <laughs> a certificate of authenticity like you would mm -hmm. get from maybe a limited statue or maybe you bought this person's signature and it has to come with a certificate of authenticity from that mm -hmm. organization an nft is a code that says this is the original thing like a title thank yes just like a title to a car mm-hmm now, we are most likely going to start seeing NFT games pretty soon. So we need to start talking about these things and kind of understanding what these are because we actually might be doing these things. Now, I want to bring up Play to Earn. Oh, God. Play to Earn is something he specifically mentions in this. This will enable more players to actually earn content, own content, and we think it's going to grow the industry quite a lot. So what he's saying is, in an NFT, in an NFT or blockchain-like game, you would play a video game, and you would earn the currency for the game while playing, and then you would use that currency to like buy stuff. But the only difference in this system versus what we have, you might be asking yourself, like, it sounds like what we're doing now, right? The difference is, it's an actual physical form of currency. I know that sounds weird, but basically think about V-Bucks as an actual form of transferable currency. So I could, like, give you 20 V-Bucks for, like, 20 of the Doge coins, Alex. You know, something like that. And 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 this is you, <laughs> and, and this is that this is the person from Ubisoft. This right? is the CEO. This is Yves Gilmont, the guy who owns majority uh, stake ownership in Ubisoft. And remind me what their last two three games were. <laughs> well, Alex, that was Far Cry Six. Uh huh. That was like recently and like came out. Anything. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Valhalla, uh -huh. and then those Ghost. two knock, and then the, and then those uh, those crappy ass side games, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. It, it, yes, it was. Okay. And how well of all, out of all these games, how well are they? Look, that's a good point. Ubisoft is definitely one of the ones where I'm like, like you look, don't have a lot of goodwill right now. Maybe yeah, I was gonna say. A, B, like, you, like, like your games, your game, your normal games aren't doing so <laughs> well right now. You really want to take, take, like, take, um, take something new and fuck it up even I feel, more? Well, I feel like the, 
I mean, this isn't like a new program when you design a game. This is a whole different way of making internet anything. Like, how about you? Le- this is money we're talking about. Like, I, look, I love Ubisoft, but how about I let some uh, some of the bigger boys handle this first? Oh, Ubisoft, you're not one of the big boys. You're gonna let Alex talk to you that way? Nay, he they were until they, they, they until so they're coming out with over here with uh division heartlands and ghost recon Fr- bullshit frontline that's what it was oh my god do you remember that's what's called it sounds tom like, Tancy's like ghost to recon frontline is the name oh i thought it said bullshit <laughs> oh my god oh god yeah i'm i'll be interested to see I, nfts are here to stay i think five years ago i if i you would have told me they were doing this i would i would have been really excited now like, that sounds cool whatever I, i'm not even i uh, i'm worried actually netflix games has launched on the netflix app this is available right now as of recording on your android device you can be playing either stranger things 1984 stranger things 3 the game shooting hoops card blast teeter up a netflix subscription is necessary to play these games ios will be coming in the future why is that always a thing? Why is iOS always last? I think it's things? because it's. I think it's because like, the App Store is so much more restrictive. Whereas Android's like, do whatever you want to me. You know, <laughs> like I think you could literally like load a like a thirty megabyte app that's just a long fart, and Android would be like, go ahead. We don't care. To be fair, yeah, Android with Android, I, uh, you can get uh, so. Ex- for example, you can get so-called certain uh, games that are, you know, you have to pay for, and mm. you can get, you know, certain types of, uh, uh, what are they called? Uh, um, program, it's called like an APK, to where you can work around the purchase of the game, and you can get the thing yeah, for so free. Yes, you can torrent the game. I was like, are you, yeah. are you you're, you're scaring around this, you're torrenting the game. Yes, yeah, so you can yeah, yeah. openly steal I on I, the Android device. I, for, I, for, I forgot the word torrent. So. No, I know. But yeah. APK is kind of the same thing yeah, now. Yeah, torrent, yeah. Um, but yeah, but yeah, yeah they, you can literally do that on the Android easily. So uh, you know, iPhone, I haven't seen that. Nope. So maybe that's why? Because you got to fucking unlock a key. Android doesn't give a shit. They're, you're like, yeah. Here's our code. Do whatever you want. It's okay. This one's gingerbread87. Like whatever the... F- why? What is up with these names? Eh, eh, it's not important. You're, gingerbread. You'll, need, <laughs> you'll need the Netflix membership. And it's available on all, all the Android devices, apparently. I'm going to try it. That's all for the Netflix stuff. I thought there was something else on this page that was not... Sad news, Alex, while you try it out. Sad news. PAX South is no more. They released this thing. South? When the first PAX was held in 2004, we expected a most, at most 100 locals to show up. Never in our wildest streams did we anticipate more than 3,000 passionate fans to arrive or for our one-time event to turn into a series held in five cities around the world. While each of our other events have flourished, some of them drawing hundreds of thousands of attendees from around the world. PAX South hasn't expanded and to some extent, has remained the same show that it was when we opened it in 2015. Faced with that reality and compounded by the impact of COVID-19, we have made the difficult decision to bring PAX South to an end for the foreseeable future. The heart of PAX South lives on in the incredible memories we made in our Texas community and with international fans and enforcers who came to support the show. We're sorry to all our friends who were looking forward to the show's return in 2022. We join them in that, but we hope to see you again at other events as PAX returns. You will forever be a part of our family and the legacy of PAX. We learned a great deal from you, and future shows will be better for it. Thank you, San Antonio, for always embedding the PAX spirit by welcoming home gamers and the people who make the things we love. The PAX team. Just a sad, quick story. PAX South, it's no PAX. more. So, it was there a better of the PAXs, or they each had their own like benefits? Uh, as far as I understand, the biggest always one hear was... PAX West, isn't it? I PAX think... West? I think it's either PAX, yeah, I think PAX, was it PAX West? Or PAX East, PAX West, I can't remember which one it is. I think PAX, PAX West, East I think. is the big one. Is it? I don't remember. Isn't PAX um, East, is PAX East in New York City? Uh, PAX I thought PAX West is in the California East. one, that's, that's why it's so big. PAX East, where are you? In Boston. 
Boston, damn. Boston, Massachusetts. Nothing's ever. Is there anything ever in Boston? That's interesting. A bunch of stuff is in Boston. Is it? Yeah, they got. It's a big place. Yeah, that's true. It's a big place. I I see no games on here, and I'm upset. Oh, you're not seeing the. Um... Yeah, there's no category. I'm li- I'm literally on like an Android t- like tablet, and I don't see nothing. Yeah, it's weird. They almost gave no information in this Netflix game thing. Yeah, if like, you go to their been, official yeah. thing. Uh, really quick, achievers. Just in case you're also confused, it says your Netflix membership is your all access pass. All you need is a Netflix membership. No ads. No additional fees. No in-app purchases. Available on Android everywhere. Members on an Android mobile phone will see a dedicated games row and games tab where you can select any game to download. Members on an Android tablet will see a dedicated games row or be able to select games from categories drop down menu to download and play. Um. Nope. That looks like everything. Uh, members will be able to play games on multiple devices on the same account. If you hit your device limit, we'll let you know. If you need, you can sign out of devices not in use or deactivate them remotely. Adults only. No connection, no problem, because you can download them. Yeah, that's it. Wow. I, I don't know why. Maybe there's an update? I don't know. Maybe, maybe yeah. Maybe just uh, maybe, or maybe it's going by country, but you would think U.S. would be you know, first. You would think that. We are the best. You hear that? You hear that, everyone? USA. USA. That's a joke. Australians. All right, relax. <laughs> this, uh, like, there's like a that. delay. We have date updates for you today. And there's been delays. Of course there was. This is in the form of Fire Axis. Marvel's Midnight Suns. We've decided to share that we've made the very tough decision to move our launch windows to the second half of 2022. And it's a lot of other stuff like we know our fans are looking forward to playing the game. I don't know. It's delayed. We don't need to read all that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will say I am slightly sad because I was very interested in playing the game. Mm, right. I, I, I was. I, I am. I am, Alex. Okay. No, I know you were because you you like those strategy type yeah. games. Now, does it look particularly great? It, you know, doesn't, mm. you know. You know, you don't got to go into detail about looks that. Looks like a seven. Looks like a seven. I don't like numbers. Yeah. Looks like a seven, though. Okay. Okay. Alex, we're already at Xbox Game Pass. Coming soon to Xbox Game Pass, Minecraft, Java, and Bedrock Editions for PC November 2nd. Get your computer ready because Minecraft is coming to Game Pass for PC. Play Minecraft, Java Edition, and Minecraft Bedrock Edition on Windows 10 and 11 as part of your Xbox Game Pass for PC or Ultimate membership. That also means you can conveniently cross-play with any current Minecraft version, including consoles and mobile. Just launched the same edition of Minecraft. I just launched the same edition as Minecraft or you want to play with. No need to pick and choose experience Minecraft on PC in one launcher with Game Pass. I don't understand the difference. What's the difference in the Java edition and Bedrock edition? Like, what the hell? I think the Java edition is run off the JavaScript. Isn't that, like, a specific way of, of like, making video games? I, I, I guess, but I, which one's better a, then? Not a... I, not a guy for that. I, I, down, no I downloaded the JavaScript one and I was playing it, but I'm like... It's just Minecraft. Like, I don't see the difference. Unpacking Cloud Console PC. This is ID at Xbox title. Also, November 2nd, of course, out as a recording. This is available day one with Game Pass. Moving day is here. Unpack like never before in this Zen puzzle game where you'll learn about a character through a variety of moves. Unpacking weaves together a story through the everyday and sentimental belongings you'll encounter as you decorate and organize each new space throughout the game. Stop me if you want to read one, Alex. It takes two... Cloud Console PC, this is EA Play title, November 4th. Go on a wild co-op adventure with EA Play as It Takes Two joins Xbox Game Pass for PC and Ultimate via the playlist. Discover a metaphorical merging of gameplay and narrative in a lighthearted story of hardships and getting along. You can invite a friend to join the adventure with Friends Pass. Achievers, Kill it with fire. sit down. Sit down, Achievers. You look me in the eyes right now. Grab a friend, grab a significant other, grab someone you have a crush with, grab your best friend. Grab You're going to go member. play this video game if you have Game Pass. Do you understand me? Okay. You know, you know what they need to go do? They need to do some collaboration. Collaboration. You have to, okay? Sit you down. Get, you'll get, you'll you get have to go play this play. video game. It's I don't so know funny. how much clearer I can be. All right? 
go play it takes two please and no one gets hurt i'm not saying someone will if you don't but i'm just saying to ensure no one gets hurt maybe play the game i'm gonna read the next one because i feel like it'll help me face my fears do it kill it with fire cloud console and pc <laughs> ID at Xbox November 4th. Kill It With Fire is a first-person action game about hunting spiders and causing collateral damage. Assemble your arsenal and increasingly excessive weapons, track spiders across suburbia, and burn everything in your path. I've actually seen gameplay demo of this. I see it's it pretty same. funny. You literally mm. there's a spider and like you can like cause like giant damage. So much mayhem. Yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty funny. Football manager 2022 for PC November 9th. Available day one with Game Pass. The closest thing to being a real football manager. <laughs> football, football Manager 2022 brings new progressive ways to find your winning edge. Instill your footballing style. That's the that word. And earn Why it on the pitch serious? with your football club. Experience complete football authenticity and unrivaled simulation gameplay. And then we're getting Football Manager 2022 Xbox Edition Cloud Console PC November 9th. Love that this has to be two different entries. I'm not reading this again. Yeah. It's a Football Forza. Manager game. Forza Horizon 5. Cloud Console and PC November 9th. Fable Day 1 with the Game Pass. Your ultimate Horizon adventure awaits. Explore the vibrant, ever-evolving open-world landscapes of Mexico with limitless fun driving action and hundreds of the world's greatest cards. Lead breathtaking expeditions across a world of striking contrast and beauty. I will know that with my OLED. While immersing yourself mm -hmm. in a deep campaign with hundreds of I'll challenges that you're rewarded with for engaging in the activities you love. That's going to be something you have to do next time you come over. We're going to have to play this game looking on that screen. Mm hmm. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. You go on this one? Sure, I'll take it. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the definitive edition. Console, November 11th. Experienced a blockbuster classic updated for a new generation, and now with across the board enhancements, including Grand Theft Auto 5 style controls. Which, by the way, we talked about, I didn't think they would do that. I, I, we'll um, talk about it right after this. Yeah. Grand Theft Auto 5 style controls and targeting, brilliant new lighting and environmental upgrades, high resolution textures, and increased draw distances, and much more. I've, had, I've gotten so much wrong this year. This is something I've gotten wrong. I thought they were going to re release the games. I am. I got. I'm a hundred. Like, I got a hundred. Like I thought they would like just heighten up wrong. a little bit, like the textures and stuff like that. But I didn't think they would go completely GTA Five control style. I thought which is, they made it's it in good HD. To be true. So I feel like I just. I mean, I'm hoping I could just. You know, I, until I could feel it myself, I don't trust it. I. I'm sorry. Are you saying that you would prefer the old controls? No, no, no. I'm is saying like it, it. Like it's saying it's GTA Five style controls and targeting, and I was like. Is it though? So like, oh, I, don't I see what you're saying. Like, is it or is it like fuckery? Yeah. I see. Yeah, like, or is it as close as they can get? So like, yeah. I was like, you know, I'm, I I don't believe it until I until I try it next week. Right. Okay. I I will be playing these games. I said I said I will play these yeah. games if they did this. They're doing it. I gotta hold mm -hmm. to my fucking word. Oh, I, I was gonna play it anyway. I was not. If I told you if it was a re-release, I can't play these because it's gonna feel old and the controls are gonna be dumb. But. Mm -hmm. They changed it, and I'm going to hold my end of the bargain and play these games. I'll let you know the what I think of time, The amount of times I've played Vice City, and the worst mission on there is that fucking helicopter one with the, you go inside the little van, and you got to go to the helicopter, and you got to fly around the building and not get shot. Oh I heard God. the... Um, I don't know... Who, who was it? I don't remember who. But someone was telling me that there's a specific level of you have to snipe people on a boat mm-hmm and it's awful apparently like it's fucking terrible because it controls awful so like you're trying to shoot people yeah, on a boat that's floating thing, up and down thing, and you the can't thing with my city the the sniping is so horrendous because like you're using it you scope in and instead of shoot like you know shooting you feel like the targeting is just right as soon as you shoot this all you see is the, sh the camera do like boom just do that every time you shoot and it's like very disorienting so like a like for instance like a bear 50 cow in the call of duty modern warfare like you remember when you shot the bear 50 cow in the uh mm -hmm. gillied up mission mm -hmm. like that when yeah. you shot that thing and it went like it, yeah so moved. it's like if you shoot it it does this you shoot it and it goes like that oh yeah yeah that sounds awful. like 
Yeah, at least the, if I'm remembering correctly, yeah, that's what it did. And I'm like, oh, and it because it it's and I think it's not even the vibration. Uh, I think it's like the noise and then with the thing, it right. just it's very it's disorienting. disorienting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I can't wait to play these games because this is a black I just hole wait. of gamer knowledge I don't have. I have not played Look. any of these three games. <laughs> Really? I, played, uh, I, I mean, I played as a child. Look, like, I can't wait to do the mission. I, there's a mission where you literally chase somebody with a fucking chainsaw. <laughs> and I love it. All right. Yeah. One step from Eden Cloud. Sorry. Uh, console and PC ID at Xbox November 11th. One step from Eden combines deck building and real-time action with roguelike elements, giving you the chance to carve a path of mercy or destruction. Fight alone or with a friend in co-op as you cross... Sorry, as you cast powerful spells on the fly, battle evolving enemies, and collect game changing artifacts. Can you make it to Eden? Mm. And we're skipping DLC updates, ultimate perks. I don't think any of the achievers really care about this. This is everything that is leaving November 5th now. This is everything that's going to be gone as of November 15th. So, as of recording, you're only going to have about 10 days to act on these. Lest we forget, either you play these games thoroughly and you finish what you want to play, or snag them with your 20% discount to save you some cash. Final Fantasy 8 HD for cloud and PC, or sorry, for console and PC. Planet Coaster for cloud and console. Star Renegades cloud, console, and PC. Streets of Rogue cloud, console, PC. Gardens Between cloud, console, and PC. River City Girls cloud, console, PC. Are all Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy Eight. That's the one with Squall, correct? Yes. Squall Lionheart. Yes. Got it. I started playing that and I got my Vita a long time ago, and it was like I think I put maybe like a couple hours in, but I never actually beat it. Excuse me. Sorry if you heard that, Achievers. I heard it. I'm so I'm so upset. <laughs> PlayStation Now, November 2021 20, games are as followed. Mafia Definitive Edition, Final Fantasy IX, Celeste, and Total Reliable Delivery Service, all coming to your PS Now subscription. I don't usually cover these, but there were so much games, I went, I have to let everyone know, just in case they forgot they can do this. So, <laughs> if you have Amazon Prime, you have Prime Gaming, which means you go to Twitch... And there's a whole extension of things you could just claim for free. Mm -hmm. These are all of the games you can claim from this. So November's free games are as followed. Control Ultimate Edition. Dragon Age Inquisition. Rise mm -hmm. of the Tomb Raider. Breaks are for Losers. Demon Hunter 2. Liberated. Puzzle Agent 2. Rogue Heroes. Secret Files. Sam Peters. Quality really dip, dips down in the, in the, at the end there. But literally... Those first three games, Control Ultimate Edition, Dragon Age Inquisition, or Rise of the Tomb Raider, that's wild that you're just going to get that for being an Amazon member. Claim yep. those games. No reason not to if you don't already have the service. Yep. For free. With a quote. Not really free. You got to pay it. Mm -hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Xbox Games with Gold are as follows. Moving out. Kingdom Two Crowns. Rocket Knight. Logo Batman 2 DC Superheroes. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. I heard Moving Out is fun. Made by the people who made Overcooked. Mm -hmm. Logo Batman 2 is a good game, although 360, so eh. I was about to say, it's still dated. Rocket Knight, Kingdom of Two Crowns, you know, really like. Really? <laughs> this is uh, another quick one. Um, Not really pertaining to video gaming, but it is, but it isn't, though. Uh, very quickly, League of Based Legends a game. comes to life in the epic story of Arcane. Animated series coming to Netflix November 6th. So, as of recording, if you're listening to it, when this goes live, tomorrow, you will be able to watch League of Legends Arcane on Netflix. I'm excited for that. Yeah, I'll check it out too. I am, I'm not very hit up on the lore, but I, do, I did enjoy the game when we played it, Alex. So, I'll, I'll check mm. this out. For sure. Yep. Alex. Mm. that's the news for the week that was a great week that is some interesting news stories i think but what i want to end with is how we started it and sing one single question what do you have queued up for the week this could be of course a game a video a specific tv show or movie maybe a book or comic book anything what do you have queued for the week I have a lot this week. Oh. Starting tonight at midnight, 
I got Forza. Yes. Tomorrow, I got Animal Crossing DLC with the wife. Yep. On the seventh, which is I assume, what is that? Is that Sunday? Whatever yes, the seventh it, is. Sunday. Whatever the seventh is, that is Dexter New Blood season. And I, season. I, I, I thought it was a I, movie. Am I wrong? No, it's a season. It's a ten episode season. Whoa. Yep. I'm down. Um. So the thing is with that, people who love the show should watch it. But if you did not enjoy the last season, you're probably going to be disappointed. Which, and I'm like, <sighs> yeah. And I'm like, I, I, I like the show, so I'm going to watch it anyway. From from watching the trailer, I was like, okay, so they're going off what happened in the last season. Originally. Mm -hmm. Originally, they said this was a rethinking of the last season. That is not true. That this is a yeah. I guess I you think, could describe wonder, it as a. I wonder a, a if the woman as a, they're trying to like they're trying to continue the story. So that's not the end. That was just a bad season. So then this would be a continuation. That, that's what I was then, trying to say. Yeah, this is like yeah. a, maybe an attempt at fixing things. But yeah. everything that happened in that last episode. Can happen. That's really oh sick. God, that. it was so. It was Let's so. It was that. so like. It was so like. It was like pushed. It. I was like, relax. Let's sit with that. A whole season uh, of development waxed over in about an hour's time. <laughs> Fucking that show, man. Go ahead. Uh, I, go ahead. Yeah. What else? I'm gonna watch that. I'm um. Hopefully by next week, I will completely uh 100 percent be done with tales with all, all right. the achievements. Then go to Guardians. So, and then the... And, there was something on the 11th, didn't we say? The 11th? Yeah, I wanted to say something, something on the 11th. I don't think so. There was something else this week. Oh, uh, Call of Duty. Call of Duty is this week as well. That's tomorrow. By the time I get to it, it'll be sometime <laughs> next week. <laughs> Call of Duty comes out tomorrow. Yeah, it does. It does. As a recording. Today. Yes, it does. Um, oh, grand, the 11th, Grand Theft Auto. No, yeah. Duh. Yeah, we have Grand yeah, Which is, oh, and I, I completely didn't even realize, the Elder Scrolls remas Skyrim remaster 11th. again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the 11th. <sighs> You're going to be able to play oh. San Andreas and a Skyrim. <laughs> that is, this is crazy, isn't it? Everybody's just bringing week. back. It's yeah. a wild week. Are you yep. going to be playing this Skyrim? You're talking a lot of shit. Achievers, in about a couple minutes, you're going to be like, well, the achievements are probably going to be good. <laughs> the Xbox One version, I went to do it, and I never went through with it because I played that game so much. But it's oh, been years. It's been years since I've even played that. Even Achievers, though, I'll tell you right now, I'm playing the game again. Am I playing it all I, the way? I probably won't have enough time. That's what, that's what I'm saying. I'm probably going to be play, playing it again. I don't know. I'll probably do what I did with Tails. And play a bunch of it and stop, play something else, and then here and there, pick it up, do a little bit. Because yeah. Skyrim is one of those games you don't really, you already know what's going on. You well, just pick it up and do I random shit. I will say, good. one good thing about Skyrim, it's almost perfect as a pick up and put down. Mm -hmm. Pick up, play two, three quests. Yep. When you're done... You're almost to zero, like you're almost as a fresh character again. Like, you, like if you yeah. finish a whole quest line, for instance, College of Winterhold, a fantastic storyline that I love, one of my favorites in the game, mm. um, the College of Winterhold storyline. If you finish that whole thing, that's a good couple hours, and you could just chill and come back, do another quest line, go, um, go get the Mace of Morlock Ball, which is another great storyline, uh, that you can do, uh. Go find the Oblivion Scroll thing in the story. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much fucking. Yeah, I think they're so good. I always like that because they always like they always, they talked about like Sheo Gorath from from Oblivion, and yep. I'm like, oh, that was so fun. Yep, the uh, god it, that that's the guy god that pulls you mm -hmm. into the dream thing. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. Yep, that was yeah. Cool. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna be playing that as well. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of echo everything uh, Alex just said. We I, I'm gonna be involved with just about everything he said. Call of Duty yeah. will probably be a tiny bit higher on my to-do list than him because i do want to play that campaign laura bailey's character does look particularly play interesting. call of duty before i finish guardians let's say that <laughs> i don't like that very much you need to finish yeah. guardians damn it yeah but call of duty as you say call of duty's tomorrow 
play play guardians then you get to play call of duty achievers tell them all right in a couple mm. days when they tell you you have to do it <laughs> all right how about this it put a poll and whichever poll gets gets more i'll do that okay oh more I'll, comments i'm gonna like block it and vote it and i so to make sure i'm like the only one i must somehow <laughs> like make it to where i'm the only one that's gonna be able to vote on it yeah, and then they're going to comment on this video, hey, I can't vote. I can't vote on it. What happened? <laughs> Anyways, I will be doing that. I will be playing that. Uh, we're, yeah, so I'm going to be playing COD. I already finished Guardians. I'm finished Tales, I promise. Um, Alex needs to finish Guardians, damn it. I'll well, be playing Skyrim do. and shit. So. Eventually, we'll go back to Far Cry. Uh, Far Cry is a back burner. It, I will play it when I get to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No rush for that. That I'm game is be, like a, like if Skyrim. Forza, like, if, I can pick it if up. Forza is as good as I hear. I'm mm -hmm. be on that for a while. Oh yeah. Why do you yeah. think I want to play literally in an hour and a half? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna play Apex ranked until then. Oh yeah. Well, the new season. The new season's awesome. Speaking of playing video games, we're gonna go do that. We really yep. appreciate all the time you've spent with us today. Whether it be leaving a comment, liking the video, giving us a five-star review. Thank you for giving us even the bittest of your time. Um, that is Kirito from Sword Art Online signing off on Alex's end. Thank you so much for listening. Remember, you can patreon.com for the financial side of things to help us there. But until we see you again, remember. Go, Chief. Go, Chief.